It's 1976, and a deadly outbreak at a Philadelphia hotel has people scared. It's Legionnaire's disease, and after intense detective work, a CDC staffer cracks the case. The story of that medical mystery is just one of many told here at the David J. Sensor CDC Museum. It's free, open to the public, and vividly illustrates the history of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. We started in 1946. We, our precursor was malaria control in war areas, and we're actually the only federal agency with uh, headquarters not in Washington, D.C. The medical memorabilia on display includes this used iron lung, jars of swine flu vaccine, and this canister, which actually shipped Ebola virus. This is like the most uncomfortable pajamas ever. Visitors can even try a biosafety suit on for size. Virologist Paul Milliken going in. As you can imagine, there are a few specimens here like this guinea worm that you probably never want to see again. This is about a third of one. Oh dear. But others like this air quality sampler used at the World Trade Center site bring new clarity to what CDC workers do. And they went in to help the workers who were uh, looking for survivors and, and trying to do the cleanup to try to keep them safe. Yeah. And maybe that's what makes this museum so unique. Everything in here, from the fascinating to the freaky, tells the same human story. The struggle to stay safe, to stay healthy, and to help others do the same.